I really love this craft. But ever since I started posting online, I found myself at a crossroads in my heart. See, I'm the kind of person that desires deep and meaningful connection. So the idea of a life lived offline, focused on the people directly around me, cherishing the memories spent with close friends, laughter, simplicity, hardships, life, you know, is really appealing to me. But I also love creating. And nowadays, the simplest place to share my work is YouTube, Instagram. And you know, I don't really think I have to go down the rabbit hole of all the positives and negatives that come with creating on the internet. It's clear there's an abundance of insane talent and originality out there. But it's also true that there's a lack of originality, and discouragement, pain, frustration with the algorithm, all the things. Life on the internet can sometimes feel all-encompassing. Like our creativity is measured by results, numbers. And frankly, I don't want any part of that. But one of the best things that has happened during my time online has been the opportunity to actually talk with other creatives. People have so kindly taken me up on my offer of mentorship calls where I've gotten to have conversations. Good, rich conversations. And it made me realize how much we all really have in common. Most of us want to create beautiful and meaningful things, but most of us also struggle with the same mental obstacles. It really is true that no one has it figured out. And so I've stayed. I've stayed here online. Because I realized the crossroads can actually intersect. For a long while now, I've been asking myself how these passions of mine can coexist. The passion for meaningful human connection, experiencing the complexity of life together, and the passion to create beautiful things. The screen has always felt like a barrier to me. Though I know there is someone so special behind any comment left on my video, and while I am deeply thankful and appreciate the support, the interaction still feels so distant to me. And I know, I know it's unrealistic to be able to connect with everyone online who sees my work. There is a place for letting the art just speak for itself. But it doesn't inspire me to keep creating if I sit complacent in that reality. I have bigger dreams for what's possible. For the past few years, I've spent hours thinking and praying and considering what I really want to do online. And it's resulted in this thing called More Than a Filmmaker. More Than a Filmmaker. What is it? Well, in short, it's an online community I've built for creators. But before we get into that, let's talk about what it means. It's not easy for me to compartmentalize life. I'm so deeply aware that my circumstances can change in an instant. I could get in an accident that forever takes away my physical or mental ability to create videos. I'm so sorry for such a sad example, I hope that never happens, but it's clear to me that my identity is so much more than being a filmmaker. My worth is not determined by my success or lack thereof in this career. I'm a human with a unique personality who is navigating this thing called life just like everyone else out there. And I know that sometimes I need support, sometimes I just want validation and a positive word. Sometimes I really want to be challenged because I want to get better. Sometimes my health tanks and so does my creativity. Sometimes I feel so lonely in this career. Sometimes an opportunity comes my way that makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. That's the journey. And I have a feeling I'm not alone in all those experiences in life. And so, that's why I created More Than a Filmmaker. I wanted to build a space where we could come together as creators to support, encourage, sharpen, challenge, and be there for one another creatively and holistically. A place to find friends who share a common bond and creativity. A place that inspires us all to continuously improve our craft. But also a place that reminds you of your worth and value as the unique and beautiful individual that you are. This is my heart. This is why I'm here. On a less philosophical and more practical note, what does the community platform really offer? I'm sure the community will morph and change with time, but at its origin and at its core, you can expect to experience live interaction with other creators, from casual conversations to educational workshops, 
collaboration opportunities, creative challenges, discussion feeds, and direct messaging, engaging and interacting with new friends, and also resources. I really enjoy teaching. I've owned my own business as a freelance videographer for a little while now, and I love talking about what I've learned. So I've created a resource library called How Jordan Does It that dives into how I've run my business, how I organize my files, how I personally fight creative block, and so much more. I have big dreams, and the truth is, I've worked really hard to build something great. But I'm also willing to be patient and trust that time and the right people will make it so much better than what I could ever do just by myself. That's the gift of community. I'm not making this to be about me. This is about us. And I think the final question I have to answer for now who is this community for? Well, that's the other meaning behind the name more than a filmmaker. I don't want the offer to feel too broad, but I don't want anyone to feel like they're not welcome either. If you have a love for cameras or creativity or telling stories, there's a place for you. It's hard for a lot of people to believe it, but I promise your unique creative brain will add so much value to the community regardless of your level of experience. Diversity and community is a strength, and I would truly be honored to get to know you. So there it is, my dreams and heart laid bare on the table. If you're interested in joining the More Than a Filmmaker community, I'll provide a link where you can go check it out. And don't hesitate to ask me questions. I want you to feel confident that this is the right thing for you. And if you're not interested, that's totally cool too. I'm still so thankful for your support. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.